Go. Get to the palace and stop Sai. This is my fight. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the best fights on Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender. We won't include Koizilla's action scene because that creature is in a completely different weight class. Beware of massive spoilers ahead. Let's go, let's go! Number 10, Zuko vs. Zhao. Before this tense duel began, Admiral Zhao tried to have the prince killed. So when Zuko spotted his foe out in the open, he didn't hesitate to throw some heat. Despite being literally and figuratively fired up, the prince never loses control of the battle. Zuko smiled as he shrugged off Zhao's attacks and hit back twice as hard. Traitor. Coward. Although their unofficial Agni Kai leaned heavily on bending techniques, there are great flashes of hand-to-hand -hand combat as well. Zuko even cemented his dominant victory with a strong kick. After everything Zhao had done, he deserved this absolute beating. We'll never get tired of watching the prince outclass the admiral. Number 9, Zuko and Aang versus Fire Nation soldiers. After Aang got captured by Zhao's forces, Zuko went undercover as the Blue Spirit to break the Avatar out. Who are you? Right, uh, run now, talk later. Although the prince couldn't use bending, he proved that he didn't need to use flames to stay in the fight. Zuko blew us away by using slick sword play to get the best of Zhao's soldiers. At the same time, Aang relied on forceful airbending techniques to push enemies back. It was amazing to see how well the duo functioned as a fighting team. They were able to compensate for each other's strengths and weaknesses on the fly throughout the entire conflict. Unfortunately, Aang and Zuko failed to leave the battlefield as friends but they succeeded at giving us a fantastic team-up sequence. If we knew each other back then, do you think we could have been friends? Number 8. The Rebel Earthbender versus Fire Nation Soldiers Stop! The pulse-pounding first moments of the show follow a lone runner trying to escape from enemy forces in the tight alleys of a city. Just when it seemed like he'd fall, it was revealed that the rebel was an earthbender. This rocky warrior proceeded to use a variety of slick techniques to ensure his enemies couldn't stop him from sending a crucial message. Get that to the Earth King. They're going to start a war. Go oh, now! It's ridiculously cool to see how the strong Earthbender found ways to fight in narrow arenas. He seamlessly switched between launching rocks and throwing hands quickly and efficiently. Since the soldiers had the numbers advantage, the rebel was unfortunately destined to lose. But we'll never forget how he set the bar high for the show's fight scenes in the first few minutes. Hey, you're too late. Your battle plans are already on their way to the Earth Kingdom. Good. Number seven. Zuko versus Ozai. Rise and fight, Prince Zuko, so you can learn some respect. Although the prince never wanted to fight his father, the Fire Lord didn't give his son a choice. At first, Zuko put all his energy into dodging and blocking, but the young prince was forced to go on the offensive just to survive. Is this everything? Give me everything! <laughs> Ozai felt untouchable as he dodged moves with his hands behind his back. And after Zuko hesitated to strike when his father was actually open, the Fire Lord harshly retaliated and claimed victory. Despite being mostly one-sided, the tragic nature of this Agni Kai makes it a must-see. Zuko had the potential to win and preserve his honor. However, he couldn't commit to harming his father. Zuko's choice to hold back caused him to lose nearly everything he held dear after one fight. You held back today. 
Maybe you saw that as a sign of respect, but it wasn't. It was weakness. Number 6. Katara vs Zuko When Zuko tried to stop Aang from saving the Moon Spirit, Katara stepped in and volunteered to take on the Firebender herself. Go easy. Enough people have been hurt already. I don't care. I wasn't talking to you. She demonstrated her immense skill by using her waterbending to switch between offense and defense at a moment's notice. Although Zuko was relentless, Katara kept the powerful prince on his toes with creative techniques. You've learned new tricks, but I didn't come this far to lose to you. What made this fight satisfying was the fact that the waterbender was completely outmatched by Zuko the last time they fought. While their duel was tragically cut short before a winner could be determined, their bout still served as an excellent demonstration of how far Katara had come as a warrior. Yes, you're looking at her. Number 5. Aang vs Zuko in Omashu Keep your firebending in check, or you'll have the Earth Kingdom army to deal with. I don't need fire to defeat this boy. What started as a straightforward duel between Aang and Zuko in Omashu became a shining example of the show's creative fight choreography. While the prince would have preferred to use his elemental abilities, he had to hold his fire so he didn't alert local authorities. This restriction gave Zuko a golden opportunity to show off his martial arts prowess. The fight also took advantage of its city setting by having the two duke it out in a marketplace. Not only do Aang and Zuko utilize their surroundings, but the locals also got time to shine. <laughs> this fight cleverly balanced humorous moments with stunning hand-to-air bending hand combat. Their duel proved that the show didn't always need to rely on huge action set pieces to give us entertaining bouts. You have my notebook! <laughs> Number 4. Katara vs Paku I'm not going to fight you. Because you're afraid of what you might learn. That you're wrong. Katara's journey to find a waterbending master in the north was halted when she was told that women in the society weren't allowed to fight. She decided the best way to challenge the rule was to face Master Paku in battle. During their clash, we were treated to incredibly fluid waterbending and impactful visuals. Their duel also got a lot of credit for bringing iconic parts of the original animated battle to life with 100% accuracy. But the best part of the battle was Katara's resolve. Is that all you got? No matter how impossible the odds seemed, she refused to stop fighting for the women of the North. Even though Katara lost to Paku in the end, this tremendously accurate and inspiring fight definitely won us over. Well, I doubt anyone's gonna say you're not strong enough now. No, I'll just say I lost. Did you? Number three, Aang versus Boomy. One final game to play, Avatar. <laughs> the simplest one of all, you versus me. King Boomy didn't hold back when he pulled the Avatar into a one-on-one -on -one death match. The Royal Earthbender used a combination of subtle techniques and powerful moves to keep Aang on his toes. As Boomy charged forward, the Avatar used his immense bending skills to deflect and avoid deadly blows. Underneath the great choreography and visual effects, we also got a complex battle of competing philosophies. Please, Boomy, you don't have to do this! Oh, but I do! Some of us have to fight even when we don't want to. That's what it means to be in a war! While Boomy wanted his friend to solve problems violently and alone, Aang desired to avoid conflict and find peaceful resolutions with friends. The duo's internal and external clashes came to a head in an excellent conclusion where Team Avatar showed there's more than one way to win a battle. You didn't do it on your own, so you didn't learn anything at all! You were wrong. You can rely on your friends. And that's the only way I'm gonna save the world. Number 2. Sozin's Army versus the Southern Air Nomads. Remember, 
No survivors. Knowing that his firebenders would have additional power due to a passing comet, the sinister Sozin launched a devastating attack against the southern air nomads. Although the odds were stacked, the monks did not go down without a fight. The high-level airbending techniques shown during the battle took our breath away. We see the monks use everything from blasts of wind to full tornadoes to oppose the firebenders. At certain points, it even felt like the monks could survive the battle. Sadly, the comet-powered army was so overwhelming that they were able to reduce their airbending enemies to ashes with great yet terrible moves. The impressive visuals and fantastic techniques on display made it impossible to look away from this grim conflict. You may have prevailed on another night. But not when we have the power of the comet. Before we highlight our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Aang and Katara vs Fire Nation Soldiers. A brief yet brilliant boat battle where Team Avatar worked in perfect sync. <laughs> Jet, Katara, and the Freedom Fighters versus Fire Nation Spies. The Earth Kingdom Rebels and Waterbender easily took their fiery enemies down. Oh yeah. I brought friends too. Zuko and Iroh versus Earth Kingdom Soldiers. It was incredible to see these firebending family members fight side by side. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Team Avatar and the Kyoshi Residents versus Zhao and his soldiers. Zhao thought he wouldn't encounter resistance when he went to Kyoshi Island to capture the Avatar, but he was dead wrong. Take them and find the Avatar! After the island leader casually tossed a soldier, her people rushed into battle. During this thrilling conflict, non-benders like Suki and Sokka demonstrated why they shouldn't be underestimated. Even Momo got in on the action. And just when it looked like the island would lose, Kiyoshi borrowed Aang's body and showed how powerful the Avatar could be. You wanted to know about the power of the Avatar. I will show you what that power can do. Her appearance led to the show-stopping moment where she used all four elements at once to repel soldiers. The Battle of Kyoshi Island ultimately stood out for its choreography, special effects, and the way it honored everyone who chose to fight injustice. A reason to believe again. In our village, in ourselves, and in the Avatar. What was your favorite fight in the 2024 Avatar series? Shout it out in the comments below. Impossible. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.